My name is Kirk Bauer. I'm Executive Director of Disabled Sports USA. I was in the infantry, in the Delta region. It was an explosion. It flipped me over. I could tell I'd been hit bad. I spent six months in the hospital. Some veterans came to me. And they had actually just begun an organization of disabled Vietnam vets and 10th Mountain Division World War II vets. When someone becomes disabled, the process of getting back into life, to regaining your confidence, to regaining your hope, to being a full participant in society is not an easy one. It's not a straight line. It's a struggle. It's a day-to-day -day struggle. I can't think of a better example than the young warrior that I went up Kilimanjaro with, Neil Duncan. He had been blown up in the highlands of Afghanistan. His two legs were off. He was breathing through a tube in his neck. You talk about a guy who's on the edge of death, who is just about finished. Neil Duncan was that man. When he finally got out of the hospital, we got him involved in sports. In his exuberance, Neil decided he was gonna climb Kilimanjaro, and he just joined up with a group that didn't know anything about disabilities. They moved him too fast. He got up to 16,000 feet and, and couldn't make it any further. He was defeated. He had to come back. He said it was the hardest decision he ever made. He came to me and said, Kirk, I have failed and I can't live with myself. I know I can do the mountain, but we have to do it right. Will Disabled Sports USA help me? Mind strong, body strong, try to find Sometimes it's two steps forward, one step back. You are going to face situations where you're going to be disappointed or discouraged or defeated. Don't let that stop you. Pick yourself back up and go on. And Neil made it to the top. It's like